Hello and welcome back to another video. My name's Liam Kilsby Steele. I'm an adventure storyteller, photographer, videographer, and avid climber. And today we're talking about my top three books that I think everyone should read from a beginner climber to an expert. They're awesome reads and I want to share them with you. My first book I'd like to recommend is Alone on the Wall, Alex Honnold and The Ultimate Limits on Adventure. This is written by Alex Honnold. This is another deep dive into his climbing, his life as becoming into climbing and every aspect of many of the routes that some of us have seen him do on the film such as Free Solo. The updated version has a description that includes his free solo adventure as you can see in the film and it is so amazing just feeling the way and seeing and visualizing through his words how he describes the climb you know some of those big moves that he did on free solo sort of the karate kick to the wall he describes the process that he goes through from when it first seemed super big to by the time he got it so dialed in that it just seemed another little step away this is a great one to just get you immersed in everything climbing and it's also super relatable because you can put the visuals into practice by watching the film. Book number two is more of a technical bible and it's titled literally that, The Climbing Bible. Now there's two versions of this, I want you to read the first one. This focuses on mental strength, physical strength, endurance and everything in between. This takes you from the baby steps of learning each intricate part of the wall all the way through breathing, root reading all aspects of climbing. It's great to dip in and out of if you have certain aspects of climbing that you really want to improve, but actually if you're able to read it cover to cover, it's an exceptional way to learn within climbing. This Bible can really be part of the backbone of your climbing and your training for climbing and every part of your climbing life. It will deliver all of the aspects that you need to know to get good at climbing, to reinvent yourself in climbing or just generally learn about the awesome sport. Number three, my favorite book of nearly, I think it actually might be my favorite book of all times, and that is The Push by Tommy Caldwell. It is an exceptional book from description of how to climb through Tommy Caldwell's life. This book starts how Tommy Caldwell got into climbing, the adversity that he then saw through climbing, his relationship he developed with his life, all the way through to the culmination of his career, through all the way to completing the dawn wall climb in Yosemite, which if you haven't read it, or seen the film about it, again an amazing film, it's just a, such an exceptional feat that this guy literally spent so long of his life focusing on one route that he was told will never go. The practice, the planning, the infinite possibilities and ways that they had to develop to get up of the dorm wall is incredible. This was the first ever climbing book I've read. I've since read quite a few more and I really feel that Tommy Caldwell's style of writing, the way he describes climbing is just the best way to learn to live and breathe climbing. If you want to get immersed and get lost in the world of climbing, The Push by Tommy Caldwell is the way to do it. Even now, when I go back and read it, you know, I'll just sit down there for 15 minutes. Two hours later, I'm still deep in breadth and how he worked his way up that climb. It's also quite a little bit of humor in the book, which I quite enjoy. Sometimes you don't get that. Super nice style of writing. If you don't read any of them, apart from this last one, you'll make me happy. It's really a nice book. Just enjoy it guys. So there you go. If you like the sound of any of those three books that I've just talked about, if it's Alex Honnold's book, if it's The Climbing Bible, or if it's The Push by Tommy Caldway, click on the affiliate links below. I get a little kickback from Amazon. You guys get to enjoy it. All of these books either come in a paper version or a Kindle version, depending on the way you vibe. I've personally got a Kindle, means when I'm out on my climbing adventures, I can have my books, my climbing life, literally there the whole time waterproof as well so when you're relaxing by that mountain lake it's awesome thanks for watching guys let me know what's your favorite climbing book in the comment don't forget to give it a like helps us helps me and subscribe for more content like this and happy 2022